Folks, coming in hot. Coming in hot. Yesterday, we did those other three boxes. And we hit a double uncommon from Legends. So, today, for the patron, Eric. Eric, I don't know if that's good or bad. Some people are saying, Rudy, the next patron gets this other half. They ain't getting nothing. Because the last patron got three. I don't know if the track printing or the shuffling. What is this? Nobody cares. We don't even open that garbage anymore. It's an insult. Um... I don't know. It's going to be very interesting to see if these three boxes have zero Lost Legends. What a waste of killing trees. Um, or if we're actually going to actually get an additional, well, one or two Lost Legends in this case. Because, you know, look, the last, you know, the last patron we did yesterday, to be honest, you know, you got two uncommon Lost Legends. Eric, I don't know if that means you're going to pound time. So nonetheless, we're going to track the Mythics per the request of everybody. And we're going to see how it goes. You ready, guys? All right, so I'll squee. Griffins. Of course, General. Sting. Cave and Resurrected. Eh. First land in the pack. A couple of old legends there, including Mr. Stang, but nothing too exotic yet. Kind of a quiet start. Hey, okay. Sulphur Springs. Rare land number two in this pack. Or this box. Queen. Ramirez. Erbor. Ooh. Ooh. Coming in heavy. Phyrexian Johnny, Mythic number one, and a nice vet in there. Very strong. Phyrexian text Ajani. Ajani post Phyrexian animal mode. Okay. Ooh, Karn coming in spicy. Okay. By the way, anointed. Very nice. Again, it's a human cleric. You know it's a good card. It's going to have some stupid broken combo. All right, here we go. Bugles. Beautiful. Ageless. And a flame sage. All right, all right, you know, hey, and as many people in the comments have been saying, uh, Rudy, just because you don't get a Lost Legends doesn't mean the box opening is good or bad. I mean, most people getting Lost Legends don't do anything anyways, you know? And I, I understand, I understand. General again, the old mercenary, hey, cat mercenary. And Yavi Mavi Coast for rare number, oh my god! <laughs> Phyrexian, text, foil, mythic, wow! Holy smokes! I mean... Now, I already know the comment section, you know, Rudy's only focus on Lost Legends, but the reality is this is where the real money is, getting these Phyrexian cards. Holy smokes! And Silverback, very nice little Mr. Ape. Dude, if we hit a Liliana, which we haven't seen the last three, four boxes, like I said, in the last video we did, in this case, not a single Lily in all three collector boxes. I'm telling you, certain, certain Mythics are way more mythic -y, and other Mythics are just commons, I'm telling you all. Arena, the old Tory. Jasmine, who's uh, funneling the uh, black horn there. King. Soul of Wind Grace. Very nice. And the old uh, Merfolk. Very nice. Not a bad little pack. Ah! So we are marching to the second half of box one. Uh, like I said, I am not expecting Lost Legends of anything because we already got two on the other three boxes around this one. Jasmine humping the horn. And we got Carplusian Fours in a nice Phyrexian Kavu. Very nice. The old Defiler. So. But, I mean, honestly, these Phyrexians and Karns are probably a better pool and a better thing, man. All right, Weatherlight. Lana Wall. Dijin. And, eh, Aeronaut. General again. The Lady of Rudy. Very nice little etch, or, yeah, etch mythic. You got the old Creepy Shapeshifter and the Atticar Waste with some roller cut marks from the factory right down the card. That's kind of a crappy thing to see. And by the way, not to defend Wizards of the Coast, because you guys know there's a 50% chance I work for Wizard, a 50% chance I'm just a cat, but um, Wizards actually has really good customer service. If you have damaged cards and you actually contact them, they actually do replace and uh, send, they actually do respond and actually take care of most people pretty well. I've always been surprised that even in kind of post-2020, their customer service for misprints and damaged things is actually surprisingly effective. Nice little dragon, Primal. And the Obelisk. Um, the fact it comes into play tapped, I just don't see this thing ever being a thing. I just, I'm be blunt about it. You guys know how I am with any. Oh, there she is, Grandma Lily coming in to make me breakfast. Very nice. Wow, good video. Like, you look, I know this is we're about to wrap up box one out of three on this video, but Eric, that's not bad, man. This is a really nice box one. Two Phyrexians, a Lily, some great rares, Archangel, Tadioyo, Tobias, Ramiz. Yavi Maui and Silverback. Ooh, Borderless Foil, Full Monty. Old Man Rudy Elder. Uh, last pack of the first box. That was a nice collector box. That was a nice collector box. Lost Legend or not, 
That was a really nice collector box to start the video. Plaza, Tyrant, Rona, Tobias, Dragon Master, of course, most common mythic in the set. And of course, we got the old Blades and Undetected. She's got that creepy, I'm hot and I know it. She's kind of got the little arch thing with the booty and she's giving you the, I don't know, something about her. Keep an eye on her, folks. She's up to no good. By the way, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mythics, including two Phyrexians, a Johnny, and a Lily. That was a phenomenal box one, everybody. Yeah, sure, we didn't get a common card from Legends for 50 cents, but man, that was a phenomenal box one. Awesome. All right, hey, Imperial Champion. Etch number one, Defiler of Dreams, the nice Phyrexian Sphinxer Rooney. So yeah, that's about as good as a box uh, box you can get with no Lost Legends for the collectors. All right, Resurrected, Squee, love the artwork. Academy Grandma, we got the old Hand of Rudy, Torwaki, we got the Assassin Lord, Yavi, and Sulfurus. Look at that. Gorgeous lands, man. Beautiful lands. God, I know, I know. They're not Venture Shock lands or Partner lands or whatever. They're not worth much, Rudy. I don't know why you like them so much. Well, some cards are just beautiful, man. Nothing wrong with that. Firebrand. We got Warped. We got Battle Mage. Tobias. Siege. Eh, Isha. Lana War. Elf Druid. Eh, that was probably one of our weaker packs. Unless by the time you watch this video, something has shifted on some of those rares in the market. That was unfortunately a weaker pack. That was might have been our weakest pack of the video so far. We got Dynamo Construct Action. We got the old Bone Man. Ramirez, of course. Squee for the 10th appearance. And Grandma Lily looking for the Menage a Trois. Two Lilies, one Rudy in the video, coming in hot with Tarmogoyf on the uh, receiving end there. Wow. Two Lilies. Okay. It's, a, it's kind of funny, because think about it, folks. The, for, the other patron who got the two Lost Legends had zero Lilies. And some, ooh, nice little Sphinx. I love that card. And uh, Baru. And, you know, we were talking about that. I was having a whole conversation. And people have been making comments. If you don't get a Lost Legend, you end up with, like, Lilies and Karns. That's been a thing people have been talking about, and I think people are just kind of looking for patterns. But a video like this really makes me go, hmm, hey, Leyline, great rare. Um, it really does make you kind of step back and go, wow, that is kind of uh, ironic, isn't it? Beautiful little uh, did not, God, artless stained glass. And look at this, a Johnny the Old Sleeper. A ton of yellow on that card. Not a, not a huge fan of that artwork on there. It looks kind of cartoony. How does some of Johnny's look hardcore and fancy, then other ones are like a cartoony thing? That's so weird to me. It's so weird to me. Braids. Cosmic Epiphany, the Queen, Tor, Ramses, and the Hope, and a beautiful human mercenary over there. I love the little uh, fortune teller. Is that a Ouija board back there? That's pretty cool. All right, so we're uh, kind of digging through the second half of box two here. Nothing too exotic yet, uh, besides the double tap on the Lily. We've got double tap on the Soul of Wind Grace, stained glass with the herd. Hetch Catcher, great rare there. And Torwaki's B-Girl and Ageless Beauty. And there we go. First appearance of the day. Moreau, Sorcerer. Mr. Green Sleeves. Works for Ultra Pro. And uh, always sells uh, sleeves that are green. Ah, 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 no. That's my joke of the day. If you didn't laugh, it's all downhill from here, folks. All right. And into the deepness. Here we go. Tor. Academy Grandma. We got Golden Griffin Rudy. Eh, Sky Knight Uncommon. The General in every flipping pack. Ivy. And hey, there you go. That's a nice one. Look at that nice little Joda. Little stained glass borderless. Or no, not borderless. Stained glass. Non I can't keep this crap straight. What am I talking about? And nice old core soldier there, folks. All right, folks. We are uh, three packs left of box two. No sign of the Lost Legends. It looks like we may be holding steady here. Hey, Soul Kenar the Tank. Gorgeous art on that. Look at the art on that bad boy. Wow. That is wild stuff, man. Merfolk. Generals in every single flipping pack. Why would there not be a general? Generals in every pack. And, of course... It wouldn't be Dominaria Unlimited Money Machine, even though the machine's broken, without another Dragon Master, the most common mythic in the set, Yavi Mavi. So, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. All right, here we go. Queen, Ageless, Soul, Steward of Tides, Jasmine, Fondling the Black Horn, Braids, and the beautiful, beautiful Shivan Reef there. Historians, boom for the clothes. All right, folks, Eric, this is the last pack of box two. Not as good as box one, but you know what? We still got a pretty solid opening. Anytime you pull a Lily in any box, it's really kind of tough to complain, you know? Arena, the old Mons, Jasmine, of course, with the Black Horn fondling as every other pack. Cobalt, 
bearer and a beautiful Phyrexian spider defiler. Well, I guess we're going right to box three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mythics. And of course, just like box one, we are ending box two on the exact same dragon etched mythic. That is super common and super useless to everybody. All right, wrapping it up in here, folks. Box three of the video, our first timeless Lotus of the video. Just like Liliana, certain mythics are just really difficult to get. And we nice have, we got mercenaries. We got, we go, Ramirez, of course. We got Stan, Paranoid. We got another Reef and beautiful Raven Man in the stone, uh, stained glass. Come on, folks. Come on, baby. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to get any Lost Legends. It looks like, yeah, sure enough, they're in the other half of the case. Sleeper, Stuart, Tobias, again, Kobolds, again, Shapeshifter, and Beast Collar. Gorgeous artwork on that card. Wow. Man, some of the details and foiling on this, some of these art, man, it is, they are just absolutely stunningly beautiful cards, man. And here we go. All right, Claw, Threats, Hex Sketcher, Scion, General... Imperial Champion etched. Again, we have that in the last box there. And a Thrawn Portal. I don't know if that portal... Uh, I mean, it's a gate. Uh, Boulder's Gate! Maybe you can use the combo with Boulder's Gate! Uh! I'm kidding, because, you know, all Boulder's Gate cards are at zero. Human Wizard. Pendant. Queen. Ramirez. Claw. All right, here comes some lands. God, a cave. Can nobody... Is nobody else irritated by how many lands and how easy it is to pull the land cycle on this? But in Boulder's Gate, you can't get any of the flipping Battle Bond partner lands. How is nobody, like, how is that not a bigger thing? Like, that blows my mind. The only set that needed to have good pulls for the lands, Boulder's Gate, to help reduce the dumpster fire, not remove it, reduce the dumpster fire, and they made that even impossible. I mean, it's like this set. Every pack, you get flipping Jasmine fondling the Black Horn. Every pack. Rap Zeus. Hey, of course, a demon, and ending on Rudy the Worm Speaker. Riding on top of that dude's head. Last pack on the left side of box three. I'm stuck on the token. There we go. And uh, we're getting ready to go into the close here. Hoping for some spicy mythics in the close. Evolved. Eh, Maelstrom. Eh, Desecrator. Of course, Torwaki. Of course, Siege Demon. Another Phyrexian. A third Phyrexian text pool. And wow. That's, that's pretty impressive. Three Phyrexian text cards in one video is... That's pretty impressive, folks. Silver, very nice card. We have Warped, very nice. Uh, General, of course, every pack. Eh, Elf Archer, not every, every other pack. The Claw, and of course, the beautiful Miss Scholar of Antiquities. All right, folks, we're getting towards the end here. Eric, I'm going to call this video. You start off really good. We're kind of stalling out now. We haven't had any major hits in the last few packs, except like, the Phyrexian card. Weatherlight, the vehicle. Still not a vehicle guy, just me. Tobias in every pack. And, of course, Resurrected. Again, a dark cars, at a cars, at our cars, waste, and the human soldier. Four packs left, everybody. Hoping for something big in the end of the video, but it looks like we are getting ready to wrap it out, and that is going to be it, everybody. All right, Urborg, Claw, Transformation, eh, uncommon. Ramirez again. Holy smokes, Ramirez and Tobias. Hey, Azur, it's the first Azur appearance in the video. And hey, look at that. Now there's a nice one. Sphinx of Clear Skies, gorgeous, extended art, borderless showcase, Ultimate Masters box topper, foiled version of Rainbow, um, very nice uh, version of the card, version number one of 468, and it looks beautiful, very cool everybody, alright everybody, into the end of the video we go, with braids, the old Urza's assembling your mom, we got portal action, Torwaki, what a surprise, hey Dragon Masters, to keep up the trend of the most common mythic in every single box we open in the video, and why not? And hey, Hexcatcher, great rare. Like, God, some of this... Like, you cannot tell me this is anywhere near true randomization. Like, there's no... The, some of the... I mean, the more you open this stuff, the more it just... The pattern. Hey, Tori. Hey, Jasmine, fun on the Blackhorn. B-Girl. Hey, you haven't seen you in a few videos. Hey, the old Coplusion Forest. Very nice. Ending the video out. Eric, thanks for being a very kind patron. No Lost Legends in this particular video. But, yeah, you did. Hey, Soul Canar the Rudy. Very nice. Um, even though we didn't get any Lost Legends, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I think these boxes, B-Girl, Squee, were actually better than a lot of the openings we've done on Dominaria that did have Lost Legends. Does that make sense? Look at this, folks. Look at my three stacks of Mythics. All three boxes. 
flipping Dragon Master in every flipping box. <sighs> Thanks for watching, everybody. This is still insulting. I will never open a Dominaria box top on this channel again. Like, just completely middle finger from Wiz. Like, you know, Wizards of the Coast is such a fortunate and blessed, amazing company to have one of the most amazing card games and brands in the universe. But man, there are times, I swear that company does some of the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. And the fact that this, supposedly they have all these testers and R&D and this and that, and they're like, how do certain things go by without any concern? How does this, how does something like Boulder's Gate, the disaster, how does something like box top, there shouldn't even be effing box toppers, man. This is stupid. Like, and then other times, you know, I, there's just so many things that are just so obvious problems that if anybody put any time into it, it, it would be easily catchable, you know? But, I don't know. I don't have much to say today. I think the whole thing is just to sum up my opinion on 2022 so far in the summer of 2022. It's just been, it's been disappointing. It's been a disappointing year, you know, to see all these LGSs struggle Many of them closing now. I've been getting multiple contacts of LGSs across the country. They're going out of business. They took pictures of their inventory asking if I'd give them shipping labels and I would buy some of their stuff. And they were like, you know, we give us 70% on 70% of eBay sold. I know you usually pay 60 or 65 or, you know, I'm getting, you know, a definite uptick in those type of messages. And I find that sad. I find that disappointing because, you know, a lot of these stores, you know, that there's a similar, you know, they all have Boulder's Gate. You know, a lot of them have, you know, Streets, Strixhaven, AFR, Crimson, Midnight, Hunt. And I guess what? Is Dominaria going to be next now? I mean, just every single product is just coming out and stumbling and struggling. And I don't know when or how it's going to change. I still stand by. I think the bottom was in during the summer. And I'm hoping I don't get proven wrong. And I have to make a video saying, well, I was wrong. It's going to get worse and everyone's going to struggle. And remember, every time an LGS and things go under, you know, that impacts a lot of people. It's a lot of lives, a lot of families, a lot of incomes, business, distributors, the people who ship things, the post office, the freight company. There are so many things involved when a company goes out of business. And I don't, I don't know if everyone thinks about stuff like that, you know. So I just, that's, that's my opinion so far 2022. It's been disappointing. Have a beautiful day, everybody.